Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob awaken the magma fruit, become a kainu, and reach max level. But before starting, be sure you support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Oh, and one more thing, I made a Twitter account, so make sure to follow at Gamer Nom Grind for future updates and giveaways. Where the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dump. Okay, guys, so we're gonna use this fruit, one of not the best, if not the best, grinding fruit in the game. Yes, we're gonna eat it up, the magma fruit. And as you can see, we are in a cosplay, we are wearing a marine uniform. So, guys, once we awaken this fruit, here it is the first skill, the magma clap. And again, once we awaken this fruit, we will turn into a kind. The Admiral, there you go. So as you can see, curse chests are still available and we happen to see one in the middle time. So we're going to defeat this one and level up really fast. There you go. As you can see guys, check that level out. I think we'll be reaching level 20 plus here. So we will go straight ahead to the pirate village and look for more chests. Yes. Good news, we've unlocked the F skill Magma Floor at Mastery 10. So guys, when you use this one, it's kind of slow but the damage guys is unlimited. As long as you don't get hit and die, there you go, you, can, you will be damaging your enemy, everyone who steps on you or on the magma trail. As your level increases, it won't be enough for you to level up with the cursed chest. So at level 31, I've decided to head to the Fountain City. For the stats, here it is, 10 melee, 10 defense, blocks fruit 73, and for our next island, the Fountain City. So guys, here, we're just gonna lure one galley pirate. There you go, use our skills. Guys, I don't suggest you using the magma floor, but once you like a uh, master using it, because guys, once this galley pirate catches you, you will be dead. Okay, so if you're used to it, there you go, you can use it until you defeat him. There you go. Okay, so guys, again, you can just use wall strat or the F skill. So guys, keep grinding here until we reach level 60. Yes, we will be unlocking our X skill there here. The magma eruption, there you go. Not that helpful. <laughs> But guys, if you really want to use it, then use this to last hit your enemy, right? There you go. Okay, again, our target level here is level 60. And after that, we'll head to our next island. And that island is the desert. So guys, here at the desert, our first target is the desert bandits. So guys, check it out. Just use your F skill and that is enough. Again, this fruit is Logia fruit, which means... Any mob that has no uh, haki cannot damage you, and if you have or reached the level requirement, that would be easy. Okay, so level 75, we are moving to our next target. There you go. Okay, 75. Who damage us there? Guys, uh, what do you call this? The cursed chest mobs. Oh, we've reached 76. Anyway, 75 desert officers. There you go. Again, they don't have haki too, which means easier grinding. Target level here is level 90. There we go. And once we reach that level, we are heading. Oh, oh, curse oh, chest. Anyways, level 90. Here are stats 25 mil defense, blocks for 220. Next up, guys, frozen village. So we have lots of money because of the curse chest. So we're gonna buy the air jump for 10k, aura for 25k, and flash step for 100k. Next up, snow bandits. Same strategy, guys. They don't have hockey, so we will be grinding here a lot easier than most of our previous videos <laughs> there you go again guys this is one of the easiest fruit to grind in this game okay target level here is level 105 and after that target is the yeti so guys yeti is here the boss in this island there you go so guys uh, my technique here is just use f skill and move far there you go i mean don't go on his direction because he can hit you with his attack so there you go guys plus once he uses his skill wait for it wait for it there you go you can use your own skills after that okay that is the cue there you go okay so guys so we're gonna server up here starting here we're gonna server up in the first C so there you go okay easy right oh by the way, we're in the public server, so you will be seeing other players grinding here. <laughs> Target level here is level 130. Okay, once you reach that level, you're gonna head to this next island. Here are the stats, 300 blocks for 45 melee defense. Next stop is the Marine Fortress. So our target here is the Vice Admiral. Guys, you need to get the coat of the Vice Admiral because we need that for our mini cosplay. 
There you go. So how do you defeat him? You can use wall strat pot guys. Just by using your skills, mastering your F skill. And after he uses his uh air slashes, you can use your skills too. Oh, sorry about that. Shout out to Shun Hang huh? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna grind here until 220. And after that, there you go. We got the coat. So guys, for the stats, let's check our stats first. Before we move on to our next island. There you go. 460 blocks worth. Oops. Oh, did he attack us? Uh, I guess no. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna move on to our next island. And that island is the prison. So here guys, we're gonna defeat three bosses. Yes, the Warden, Chief Warden, and Swan. So guys, we've unlocked our sea skill, the Magma Fist. Anyways guys, uh, you can defeat all three bosses using wall strat. This one, there you go. Actually, you can just, actually it's hard to use F skill. I was about to say use your F skill, but no. This, our uh, bosses can catch you. But if you are a mink, or you have the uh, something that will make you move faster, then go for it. But I guess, no, because that's a skill, right? <laughs> Anyways, same strategy with the Chief Warden and the Swan. So Chief Warden, 230, Swan, 240. So guys, again, wall strat, there you go. Boom. Easy, right? Okay. Guys, server hopping this bosses will give you lots of money, I'm telling you guys. Anyways, target level here is uh, 350. There you go. Oh, we unlock our V skill, the Magma Meteors. Guys, the damage of this skill is really high. There you go. Check that out. But still, we're gonna use wall strat here. <laughs> so guys, we've unlocked all our skills now. Z, X, C, V, and F. Next up guys, once we reach second C, we're gonna awaken all the skills. Guys, imagine. Anyways, here are the stats. Blocks fruit 750. Mill defense 150. Next up, Magma Village. Target is the Magma Admiral. So guys, let's go. There you go. Guys, every time you use your skill, make sure to dodge, okay? Because he's gonna use his own skill. Oh, this is uh, Magma versus Magma Admiral. There you go. Gamer, no, don't we have a skill? Same with the Magma Admiral. Guys, we have one, but they reworked the Magma Fruit, right? So, for those OG players, if I remember, we have a similar skill to this uh, Magma Admiral boss. This is uh, the old version, the OG version. <laughs> there you go. So, again, guys, we're gonna serve up here until reach level 425. Okay, 425. So again, full of server hops in the first C. And for our final uh, Magma Admiral kill, we have someone with us, a uh, gum user, rubber foot user. So I hate fighting every time I'm grinding because it makes our grinding a lot slower, right? Okay, so for our next island, but before that, stat check again. There you go. 925 blocks fruits, 175 melee defense. Okay, so next island, Whirlpool. Under it is the underwater city. So guys, here, we're gonna defeat the Fishman Lord. There you go. So guys, Technic here is again a uh, ser uh, server hop as well as wall strat. So you can defeat him you, uh, face to face, but I suggest using wall strat because again, he's just near the wall. You don't need to lure him much. And he has an attack that can damage you while you're using your magma floor. So yeah, just use this one, easy. And again, just a reminder, we are at the public server, so we got killed a lot. I'm telling you guys, yeah. So, my technique there is make sure to choose the time that you're gonna grind. Uh, check out this one, guys. He attacked us first, right? What's his problem? Maybe he's angry because we, like, uh, killed his prey, the Fishman Lord. Maybe he's grinding too. So, he thinks we're gonna let him go. Okay. Yeah. yeah we're just gonna hide here. We don't have uh, observation hockey yet. Boom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, next up, guys, Skylands. Our target here is Whisper, right? At level 500. So, guys, we've skipped lots of mobs. You can notice it. So, we're not gonna use uh, Stone Strat here that much because, again, we're gonna waste most of the damage of our skills. So, yeah, we're gonna defeat this face to face. See that, guys? We can use F skill, but not too much because once this. Boss catches us, we're dead. <laughs> See that, guys? So, yeah, this is your skills. Uh, wait for it to cool down and spam. Okay, spam your skills. There you go, guys. Don't worry, you have a very high damage when using the magma fruit. So, just two skills Z. Oh, we missed that one X and C. Boom. Okay, there you go. Again, guys, we're gonna grind here until reach level 600 plus. Again, guys, it's 600 plus. 
we're gonna skip all the mobs here on the Skyland, including the Thunder God. Because again, it's he's so far away. Oh, 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 sound fruit user, guys. Wow, cool. Oh, <laughs> we got oofed. Anyways, just damage it and we will get experience. There you go. Thanks for helping me, bro. 637 is enough, I think. Now, time to get the Observation Haki or the Instinct for 750k. There you go. Time to head to the Fountain City and again defeat the Gali Pirates. So, we have Gali Captains and Cyborg, right? Guys, we're gonna skip all those. You know the, you know the answer. Cyborg is too far and he's too tanky even though we have high damage. Gali Captains has uh, Haki, so that will be hard for us. So, the perfect uh, target here is the Gali Pirates. So, guys, notice the level that we're gonna reach here are we gonna reach 700 here not just 700 we're gonna reach level 793 that is a lot right yes but i assure you this is the fastest one so after reaching that level make sure to do all the quests and head to the middle town talk to experience captain and welcome to the second sea guys <laughs> okay second sea where's my badge there you go now time to head to the hot and cold and do some raids so we're gonna fast forward this part. GamerNom, how did you do it? Uh, I helped this account with my other account, the Magma uh, Awaken. There you go. So fast forwarding this one to awakening all the skills. So guys, we have Z skill, Magma Shower, X skill, Volcanic Assault. This is a single target skill. Next up is Great Magma Hound. And we have the Beast Ride. Now uh, we can now fly. There you go. And it has damage. And last one, Volcanic Storm. Okay. Next up guys, for the cosplay, there you go. So guys, what do you think? Is this cool? Let me show you, there you go. Oh, lag, okay. So guys, rate this one, one to 10. <laughs> so guys, my question here is, are we gonna use the coat or the cap? So guys, since this, uh, I think the, the coat is more important because of the stats, but I think let's use the cap because we already have a cape drawn in our avatar. <laughs> So our target here is the Swan Pirates. Yes, very easy V skill, guys. <laughs> Check that damage. 35k, just one skill, they're all dead. Okay, one skill. Imagine how fast our grinding here is. So what is our target level here, Gamer Nom? Yes, we're gonna abuse this Swan Pirates. So our target level here would be 925. Guys, we already skipped lots of mobs, right? <laughs> if you just know all the mobs here. Anyways, next up, green zone. We skip uh, additional two more mobs. Our target is Fajita. Okay, guys, so Fajita here is the boss in this island. Anyways, uh, is it hard to defeat? No. Guys, just spam your skills. There you go. Okay, and let's check the HP after we use four of our skills. See that, guys? He's almost dead. <laughs> but if he hits you with that meteor uh, attack of his, you're almost dead too. So make sure to dodge. There you go, guys. Easy, right? Easy. Actually, another good area to grind is the zombies. But yeah, we're just gonna stay here until we reach level 128. Yes, 128. Boom. <laughs> So guys, oh, we got the gravity cane after that. Snow mountains. Target here is the snow troopers. So you need to defeat eight, right? Okay, so eight snow troopers. Use your Z and V, and that's it. Very easy. We're gonna take advantage of these mobs because, again, uh, on the hot and cold area, guys. They're so far away, the mobs there. Some can damage you. Some also, uh, they're so far away, etc. Anyways, what is our target level here, gamer now? Target level here is 1,150, okay? Game the damage is too high. Are you uh, exploiting? No, guys. Why is the damage so high at this level? Check our stats. We've already reached max blocks fruits, okay? Now, time to focus on the defense and some melee. Anyways, guys, at 1,150, hot and cold. Target here is Smoke Admiral. Guys, you can defeat this boss in less than 10 seconds. Yes, I timed it. Okay, so the moment we hit this, maybe we're gonna count. There you go. Okay, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. See that, guys? Five seconds. <laughs> so, guys, grinding here is really easy, right? So, make sure to take advantage of it and do server up until level 1288. Okay, after that, next stop, the cursed ship. Target here is the ship deckhands. Only, only, guys. Okay, why? Again, same uh, reasoning. They're easy to defeat. 
Uh, they are near the quest giver and they spawn fast. Okay, the main issue in the third C, the mobs there spawn really slow. Okay, guys, so now, guys, listen, this is important. We're gonna reach level 1400 here. Usually, we uh, spend uh, some time grinding at the Winter Castle, right? Snow Castle. Or what's the name of that? Let's wait for it. There you go, Ice Castle. <laughs> so, here, guys, we're gonna skip the first mob. We usually grind that, right? Guys, I, I realized that it's easier to grind with the ship deckhands, and after that, just grind here, the Awakened Ice Admiral. That is a new addition to our uh, grinding strategy. There you go. So now, uh, defeating this one, you can do uh, wall strat, but again, you are using the magma fruit. It is like the best or maybe second to Buddha fruit in grinding. There you go guys, Buddha and uh, magma fruit, two of the best fruits for grinding. There you go, it's just that Buddha has M1. That's just his only advantage. Plus, it's hard to hit Buddha fruit users because of its range. Anyway, we're gonna grind here until we reach level 1473. And after that, we're heading to the op. Phoebe's alert. So gamer nom can you defeat this one 1v1 guys? Guys, we're using a magma fruit. <laughs> this will be really easy. But the main problem here is you don't if you don't know how to time the skills, there you go. You have instinct, right? So the only thing that you need to dodge is his uh what do you call this? His very own uh, Kamehame wave because that one will push you underwater and guys as we all know even though you can step on water if you get pushed underwater you will be damaged how do you remove that gamer gnome uh, get the shark race and uh, what do you call this awaken it or you don't need to awaken it actually just V V2 or V3 something like that it will remove the damage when you're underwater okay that one guys, that one. You need to like uh, dodge that one. Okay, so we became a beast hunter now and deep pitch. Anyways guys, Forgotten Island, Skull Island, target here is the Sea Soldiers. So guys, with this mob, we're gonna reach uh, 1-5. Actually, we're, just to be exact, 1,552. Okay guys, so... Yes, yes, for those wondering, we're gonna skip the two mobs here. Also the boss. Why? Guys, why make it harder? I'm here to teach you the best way to grind, right? Not to defeat every mob. <laughs> Anyways, just finish the quest, defeat Swan, finish the Coliseum quest, fight Indra, and head to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain, and guys, third C finally. <laughs> Final island with the magma fruit. So target here, Pirate Millionaires. Again, the level is 1552. Why? Because these mobs don't have hockey, so you can uh, easily lure and defeat them. Okay? So again, taking advantage of that, target here is to reach level 1,675. Why 675? Be because the boss there at the Hydra Island, yes, this one, Island Empress, that is the level requirement. So guys, you can do a uh, wall strat here, but check the damage. So we're going to defeat it face to face. But I suggest wall strat because again, our HP is kind of low yet. So there's a high chance that, see that guys, we will die. <laughs> So yeah, use wall strat in your skills. Anyways, target here is 1750. Next up, Great Tree. Another target is the boss here, Kilo Admiral. So guys, Kilo Admiral can only attack enemies in the ground. So if you jump really high, use your skills, spam your skills, he won't be able to damage you. And that's it. A anyway guys, uh, we're gonna defeat this one and I'm gonna show a clip wherein we defeated a high level player. Imagine that guys. I think it's a high level player since it has CDK, it is using uh, the soul guitar, and he's using a portal fruit. So guys, check it out, we're only using combat, magma, we were able to defeat him. Okay, so once we defeat this one, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so here you go guys, check this out guys, he attacked us with his uh, CDK. Okay, I know this will be really hard because again, we don't have like a uh, leveled up observation hockey or instinct. We're gonna see what he uses. Okay, see the guy, soul guitar, right? <laughs> oh, dimension, okay, V skill, dimensional rip. I think this is, uh, he made a mistake here because 
it will be easier for us to aim now because again we are in a uh, closed area so let's just wait for him oh okay okay oh what is that is that gandumon check this out guys you can even see what he's using oh he's using x skill okay cdk z skill <laughs> do you think we're gonna defeat this one oh he went out you're dead whoa Oof, oof. Guys, is he running? What? Guys, he's running. Oh no. Oof, oof. Is that. Is he awakened? Oh no, guys. Oh yeah, he's awakened. What? Guys, we defeated an awakened angel fruit. Angel fruit, sorry. Angel race user plus CDK and whatever guys <laughs> Anyways back to grinding. I said I I hate PvP's because again a waste of time, but it's really good. <laughs> Anyways next up float, floating turtle target here is the fishman captain So this one's hard to be honest because they're so far away, but we have no other choice but to grind this area I go only this mob guys. We're gonna skip all other mobs so target here boom is 2055 there you go after that haunted castle target here born skeletons okay so with the mobs from the cursed chest just two skills that's enough to defeat these mobs two skills guys one z and v that will be enough there you go easy peasy oh oh okay <laughs> that's a uh, four skill sorry Anyways, we're gonna grind here, guys. Uh, only one mob, the reborn skeletons. And after this, when we're ready, we're gonna grind our final mob without Haki. So at the Sea of Treats, target is the Peanut Scouts, the best mob to grind in this sea. Why? They don't have Haki and they spawn really fast. So yeah, that's it. This is the last mob that we're gonna grind here. But guys, but if you wanna grind uh, Coco. A conjured cocos, you need to do this. Okay, 2300. Sea of Treats again, Chocolate Island. There you go. We can grind the Cocoa Warriors. Yes, Cocoa Warriors is enough. Because again, guys, you need conjured cocoa in order to uh, make the Doe King, right? I mean, not make. Summon the Doe King. There you go. So, guys, uh, when you reach this level, I don't suggest grinding mobs now. Just do six expeditions. But if you wanna really grind, Maybe you can grind candy parrots. Don't head to Tiki Outpost and grind mobs, okay? That's really hard there and yeah, it's so far away, I'm telling you. The the mobs there. Anyways, we're gonna reach level 2550 here. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. There you go. Anyways guys, update is here. This coming uh Thursday, EST time or Friday here in the Philippines. So again, See you on this upcoming update to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters. I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out.